1941 was the worst year of my life. Uh, you walk in the streets of Athens and you see people dead from starvation. And the worst thing that uh, I saw is dying from starvation because you saw little kids, uh, they were blowing uh, the faces and they were dying. And that was because of starvation. So Greece was under attack by the communists. They wanted to take the government, something that they didn't do, they weren't able to do. And in 1947, I was drafted in the Greek army until 1950. Uh, and I went to the northern part of Greece and uh, I saw uh, death and I saw uh, separation of children because what the communists did at that time, they took to the northern countries 28,000 children to prepare them to be the future leaders of communism to come back into Greece. So all those events created my knowledge about life, the importance of life, the importance of freedom, uh, friendship, as I say. And uh, I was prepared now to go and find out what the rest of the world is. And I was very fortunate to come into this country. Uh, I don't say that we are friskolipti, uh, the Greek word of being um, over jealous, uh, uh, faithful. It was part of life, it still is, uh, and um, I guess it has uh, helped us in more than one way to be together all those 60 years and um, uh, not even thinking about a divorce, do we? Never did. <laughs> but I would like to say about uh, Margaret uh, one thing. Uh, very humble, uh, uh, very faithful, uh, strong in, in, in her own ways that doesn't show the strength. Uh, and uh, she was able to um, uh, keep with uh, my character. <laughs> it was uh, 1952, November of 1952, when I started uh, working for my future father-in-law's uh, restaurant. Uh, he hired me at the time Although really, uh, I had the feeling that he didn't really need me of uh, the business. I think he did it more, I feel, because of knowing later on as a human being, he felt sorry for me. Uh, I don't know why uh, I was going to school. You had no job. Hmm? You had no job. I had no job at the time and I was alone. Um, uh, anyway, I, I can't go into details. Uh, Margaret didn't say much, but uh, she was very efficient. She didn't miss a step. Uh, memory, uh, I could see this and I say this honestly. Uh, I said uh, she's supposed to be a beautiful homemaker. <laughs> when I met her, she thought that a man, and I indirectly I found out a man has to smoke. When we went at newlyweds to her village, um, uh, everybody wanted to meet me and all that. And uh, then I met everybody, but I didn't go out to the taverns. I didn't smoke, uh, I didn't drink, and uh, uh, I, I loved to draw. Another time I was under the trees, drawing village homes and all that. And uh, the rumor went around that uh, Theo, uh, very likely he has TB, he's sick. I have TB because I don't smoke, I don't drink. <laughs> that came around and I said, no. We thank God for all those gifts that uh, you cannot buy with money or you cannot uh, uh, replace them with anything else. Uh, truly, we're pleased, happy and thankful to God that uh, we are who we are. Uh, no one else like us, and uh, I'm glad for that. I go to the doctors, uh, and um, one thing that I told him is uh, I don't like medications, uh, because uh, pharmacon, 
pharmacon is in Greek, pharmacy. We have the word pharmacy. If you want to say to somebody, I'm going to poison you, say, θα σε φαρμακώσω. I'll give you pharmacon, poison. I said, Pharmas, pharmacon is poison. So I don't like them. I'll take them only if I'm dying, and otherwise I don't like them. Margaret has a tricycle that in the morning and afternoon will go around. Everybody knows her. <laughs> and what she will do, she will look around and if there's a furniture that people throw away, she's gonna call me. I go to the truck and I take the furniture and take the pieces and I make the icons. She's a calm person, uh, kind all around. Uh, she... Uh, <laughs> no, I, I'm telling you the truth because um, I, I'm not going to get any money. I didn't get any prika. Prika is a dowry in Greek. <laughs> uh, we got uh, only uh, $14,000 and $2,000 uh, for the honeymoon trip, I believe, as a gift. Uh, in, in Greece, uh, you know that when you get married, it's better to have something, at least a house, that uh, you can live in because it was not easy. Today, maybe it's easier, but at the time you had da uh, prika. Uh, so the girl who had uh, more prika was easier to get married. Uh, even if she was ugly. At this point, I would say we've been winners, both of us. I'm doing the talking and she's doing the silencing. <laughs> but I'm talking for her also, I know that. My father was a person that I never saw him upset, mad. Uh, he had a Greek word that was not something that I can say, I was a little bit um, uh, lumbity, just uh, like uh, a, uh, a, a trash, just forget about it. And that was the worst that he said in his life. Never said bad words, never get upset, and we're talking about conditions that uh, they uh, were terrible all around. Uh, mother was a little stronger in, in her own ways, uh, but this agape was always there. So what we tried as much as possible between the two of us to have that, to work on that, and to convey that into the lives of our children. Still we feel we didn't do enough. Still we do not give enough that. Because the other day she said, I said, isn't enough? I said, this faucet has to stop sometime. <laughs> as it is. I look forward to wait for Saturday because I know next day is Sunday. <laughs> so uh, I'll, I'll take off and I'll go there and I'll give the little that I'm able to give with this community, in the beautiful community that we have. Uh, and uh, then I will come home and I feel well. I said, oh boy, seven more days for that. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know what the word fortunate means, uh, but uh, if you believe you're fortunate, uh, the, you do not go to uh, the one who plays the cards and tells you your future <laughs> to see how fortunate you are. Um, so, thank God, I would say. Thank God for everything. Mm -hmm.